Imagine walking through a park, enjoying a serene sunset and reciting poetry, when suddenly, a flash of inspiration strikes. That's exactly what happened to Nikola Tesla, one of the greatest inventors of all time. While strolling in a park, Tesla had a revolutionary idea that changed the world forever. The concept of the AC induction motor. With a stick in hand, he sketched the first design of his motor in the dirt, visualizing the rotating magnetic field that would power it. Fast forward to today, induction motors are the backbone of modern industry. From running factory machines to powering appliances in our homes, these motors account for 70% of global industrial energy consumption. Tesla's park-born inspiration has become an invention that powers our world. Ready to dive deeper into this genius idea? Let's explore how Tesla brought his vision to life and changed history forever. Nikola Tesla's AC induction motor is one of the 10 greatest discoveries of all time. It is this invention of Tesla that revolutionized the world. Today, induction motors account for around 70% of the energy consumption of industries worldwide. So let us see how Tesla discovered the idea and design of this AC induction motor and how it works. Nikola Tesla observed that dynamo electric machines were generating alternating current, which was converted to direct current with the help of a commutator. This commutator was a complicated device and was the source of most of the troubles experienced in the operation of the machines. Problems like threading, copper track flashovers, and sparking were common with the use of a commutator. Now this direct current could not be utilized in the motor it had to be reconverted into its original state of alternating currents again by using another commutator. Thus, the function of the commutator was entirely external, and it did not affect the internal working of the motor or the dynamo electric machine. In reality, therefore, all machines are alternating current machines. The currents appear as continuous current only in the external circuit during their transit from the generator to the motor. Then Nikola Tesla thought that he should remove these useless commutators and find a way to connect these two alternating current machines. So he connected the alternating current generator with the alternating current motor. But Tesla failed. He failed because he used a single circuit to transmit the current, just as was done in DC motors. Each time the current reversed its direction, it reversed the north and south poles of the motor's magnetic field as well. The motor therefore vibrated but did not turn. One evening, Nikola Tesla was walking in a local park with his friend. He was witnessing a beautiful sunset and reciting poetry from Goethe's Faust. Then suddenly, like a flash of lightning, an idea came to his mind. He picked up a nearby stick and began to draw a picture of a device in the dirt at his feet. His diagram showed not only the motor, but the rotating magnetic field that drove it. He told his friend, See my motor here, watch me reverse it. This time, Tesla had the inspiration of using two or more circuits that were out of phase with each other. The design of Tesla's AC induction motor. The motor comprises a ring, preferably built up of thin insulated iron rings so as to be as susceptible as possible to variations in its magnetic condition. This ring is surrounded by four coils of insulated wire. The diametrically opposite coils are connected. To make our understanding clear, let us take two different colors for these circuits. The four free ends are connected to an on-off switch. This on-off switch is further connected to four terminals. Then, a cylinder made up of thin insulated circular discs is mounted inside the ring on a shaft so as to turn freely within the ring. This cylinder has coils whose ends are short-circuited. All these components are fitted on a frame. The alternating current generator. Here, we have field magnets and a cylindrical armature core. This cylindrical armature core is split and is wound with two coils. The free ends of each coil are carried through the shaft and are connected to the insulated contact ring. Then we have brushes that bear upon the rings. These brushes are connected to the terminals of the motor. In this way, Tesla removed the useless commutator in his design. Therefore, alternating current will now flow through these wires. The working of the AC induction motor. Here, we have two complete closed circuits. 
The first is the red one, and the second is the green one. When the coils of the generator are made to rotate between the field magnets, according to Faraday's first law of electromagnetic induction, a current will be induced in the coil. Suppose the coils of the generator are in this position. We can see that only the red coil cuts the magnetic field lines and not the green coil. Therefore, the current will be induced only in the red coil. The direction of this induced current is given by Fleming's right-hand rule. This induced current will flow through the red coils of the field magnets of the motor, generating two magnetic fields in the motor. The direction of the magnetic fields generated by this induced current is given by the right-hand grip rule. The resultant of these two magnetic fields will be in this direction. Now, suppose the generator coils rotate by 45 degrees. We can see that both these coils cut the magnetic field, and thus current will be induced in both coils. This induced current will generate four magnetic fields in the field magnets of the motor. The resultant of these four magnetic fields will be in this direction. If the generator coils rotate by 90 degrees, only the green coil cuts the magnetic field. Therefore, the current will be induced only in the green coil of the generator, generating two magnetic fields in the green coils of the field magnets of the motor. The resultant of these two magnetic fields will be in this direction. Thus, as the coils of the generator rotate, the corresponding resultant magnetic fields generated in the field magnets of the motor also rotate. This is called rotating magnetic field, RMF. When the coils of the rotor cut this magnetic field, according to Faraday's first law of electromagnetic induction, a current is induced in the coils. According to Lenz's law, this induced current opposes the cause that induced it. Here, the cause for the induction of this current is the relative motion between the rotating magnetic field and the coils of the rotor. The direction of this induced current will be such that it tries to decrease the relative motion between the rotor and the rotating magnetic field. Therefore, the rotor will start rotating with the magnetic field in order to decrease the relative motion. In this way, Nikola Tesla invented the induction motor. There are several other designs of induction motors that Tesla gave in his patents, but the basic principle remains the same, the creation of a rotating magnetic field. Dear viewers, kindly check out other videos on Nikola Tesla on my channel and support me by liking and subscribing. Thank you.